Hello friends. Today we will learn about the bank loan prediction based on the machine learning techniques. And today for the bank loan prediction, I will use the support vector machine technique. Okay. So first make today's heading first. So bank loan prediction using SVM support vector machine. Today I'll use support vector machine. Make it bold. Okay. First, I'm importing all the necessary libraries. Import noun file as NP. Import pandas as PD from scalon dot model selection sorry oops model selection import train test split from escalon import svm from escalon import matrix Metrics basically for the accuracy score, which we'll see at last that what's the accuracy of our design model. So let it be run. Okay. It will take some time. Let it be completed. Okay. In the meantime, I'm just importing the data set. I'm taking as loan data then pd that means i am using the pandas then read csv since my data is in csv format that's why i am using read csv now i am giving the path where i have kept my file now Put the file name dot csv and in the beginning put it earlier okay let it be done okay so now i am observing what is the loan data okay this is the loan data so first i am checking in the loan data total 614 rows are there and 13 columns are there among those 614 rows i am taking is there any null value is there or not so i'm checking the null value loan data is null sum okay okay so there are null values are available like in gender column there are 13 null values in married column, there are three null values. In dependents, there are 15 null values in the similar way. Okay. So here I am using the drop dropping technique. That means I am going to drop out all the null values. So I am using loan data dot drop now dot and I am going to save it under loan data. So let it be run. Now I'm going to print the loan data again. Now I'm checking, is there any, okay, just see one thing. Initially it was 614 rows, but now after the dropping the null value columns, null value rows, basically I am getting the 480 rows. Let's check it. Is there any null values available or not? Is null sum. Let it be run. Okay. All are zero. Initially, it was few numbers like gender 13, married 3, dependents 15, like that. That means in gender column, there are 13 null values. But now I am getting all as zero. That means no null values are there. All the null values have been removed. Okay. Now I am observing the loan data set very carefully. If you see, you will observe that. In loan data set, there is a one column that is the loan ID. Loan ID is not required. Actually, thing is that what I am going to 
show you that in the loan data set there are various columns are there like loan id gender married dependents education etc and one column is also there that is the loan status in loan status yes or no such type of things are available that means you are going to give loan to anyone or you are not going to give loan to anyone okay so for that purpose loan id is not required okay because loan id is not such type of important thing to judge anyone based on that you can judge that shall i go for loan or shall i not go for loan so we can drop the loan id column so i am just dropping the loan id loan id equal to loan id dot drop now i am taking this the loan id columns then comma axis equal to one one why i am putting axis equal to one because i am going to drop columns that's why i am putting axis equal to one if i am going to drop row in that case i'll be put axis equal to zero so let it be done now let's print loan data again yeah now you are observing that the loan id that particular columns has been removed loan id column has been removed okay now again if you observe carefully you will see that in gender you are getting male female something in case of education you are getting graduate not graduate something even in case of self employed you are getting yes no in case of property area you are getting rural urban loan status you are getting y and something but in case of machine machine will not understand this word machine will not understand this string so you have to convert this string to a integer that means 1 2 3 something like that so i am going to that data processing part okay before that one more thing i am going to show you that in case of dependents first let me let me add some rows first i am going to show you the dependent columns the what are the values that are available in dependent columns okay so loan data after that i am taking dependents then value counts that means i am checking that what are the values that are available in dependent columns okay so let's run it you are getting 0 2 1 at the same time 3 plus machine will not understand this type of data 3 plus machine will not understand 3 plus so you have to convert it either 3 or you have to convert it 4 let's convert it to 4 okay so i am doing that first i am taking this data then i am going to convert it okay so i'll use that replace you can say it like that as well just remove the that part that replace you will do that to replace equal to 3 plus because its value was 3 plus and you are going to replace it through value equal to let's say 4 okay and you are going to save it under the loan data so just paste it here equal to so let's run it now again print the loan data enter data set now you are getting the dependents it comes 4 initially it was 3 plus now it comes 4 okay now what i am doing i am doing the data processing that means i am going to convert in gender column you are getting male female etc in married column you are getting yes no etc in education you are getting graduate non graduate in case of property area you are getting rural urban etc so i am so machine will not understand this word machine will not understand this string so i am going to convert this string into numerical digit okay so first let me take what are the columns are there which you have to convert now these two columns i am taking which i have to convert now uh, now i am taking 
these two columns name which i have to convert okay so i am taking initially the name of the data set was loan data okay i am just pasting it now i am taking gender first i am observing that what are the values what are the variety of values are available on that gender column so and it will be dot it will not be comma okay so okay it will be gender loan data gender actually um, series attribute has no value counts okay it will be counts is yes. okay okay so in case of loan data you are getting under the gender column okay under the gender column you are getting two things what are the two things you are getting male in male there are 394 rows are there in case of female there are 86 rows are there where the gender is female in the similar things i'm just copy pasting it here and i'm just changing it the merit gender i am replacing with merit again i am checking in married you are getting 311 rows are there where the married is yes and 169 rows are there where the married is no again i am copy pasting to the next shell and i am taking the education now i am running it in education there is a, there are two part graduate and non graduate and subsequent rows are also showing again i am copy pasting to the next cell and i am just replacing now this column education i am going to replace with self employed let's run it no and yes and subsequent number is also displaying now again i am copy and paste it here now i am going to replace with the property area that particular column name so i have replaced and property area you are getting three different types like semi urban urban and rural and subsequent rows like how many rows are there where you are getting property area semi urban that is displaying as well as similarly with urban as well as rural again i'm copy and paste it here now i'm going to replace this name this column name okay so i'm just pasting it here and let's run it okay yes no so now i'm going to data transformation that means i will change male female yes no graduate non-graduate all those things to numerical digit okay so to do that i am doing loan data dot replace then i am using the dictionary function those who are new in this video they can check in my playlist the python basic videos where i have explained what is the dictionaries how to make dictionaries all those things but in this video i am not going to explain those things so first i am taking mail mail i am considering as one that means i am going to convert mail to one and female i am converting to zero you can put other numbers as well you can put two as well there is nothing wrong on that situation as well i'm taking zero now i'm putting comma and in place equal to true that means it will convert where it will see male and female it will convert one and zero respectively so let's run it now Let's check the loan data. You are getting the gender. Initially, it was male, female, something like that. Now it is replaced by one, 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 zero, something like that. Okay. So the string, or rather, I can say the word, 
has been replaced to numerical digit. Now I am again copy it and paste it here. And now I am going to the merit. Yes. Yes, I am changing to one. And no, I am changing to zero. Let's run it. Okay. Again, I am copy and paste it here. Now I'm going to third column. That means graduate. Graduate I'm taking as one and non-graduate. Non-graduate I'm taking as zero. And let's run it. Again, copy it and paste it for next columns. Now I am going for the self-employed. I'm taking no. I'm taking no as zero and I'm taking yes as one. Okay. Now let's run it. Let me put some rows. Okay. Now I'm again copy and paste it here. Now I'm going to replace semi urban. Semi urban. Let's say I'm going to replace semi urban with zero. Now I'm taking urban. And let's say urban, I'm going to replace by one and let's change it to one. Now for third variable, that means rural, I'm taking it as two. And let's run it. Okay. And paste it here. Now I'm going for last column. That means the loan status. Why? Why I'm taking as one and in I'm taking as zero and let's run it. Now I'm going to show you the entire loan data. Initially it was mixed of numerical data as well as the string data. That means what now I'm showing you. Okay. If you observe carefully here, now you are not getting any word or string you are getting everywhere the numerical digit okay why we are doing it because machine will not understand word machine will not understand string machine will only understand the numerical digit that's why we converted these things okay so what we are doing now the final that means output column will be the loan status that means you will give loan to someone or you will not give loan to someone that loan status column i'm taking as what output variable that means i'm taking it under y and except loan status all the columns there are a total 12 columns except loan status there are 11 columns all these 11 columns i am taking under x that means i am considering all the 11 columns as dependent variable okay so let's say x then loan data then i am going to drop that particular column which is not required, that means loan status. I'm putting it here. And since it's column, I'm going to delete column. That's why I will give access equal to one. And let's run it. Now let's print X. You will get 11 columns and that loan status column has been removed, okay? Now I'm taking the Y variable, that means output variable. Here I am taking only loan status, only loan status color. And let's 
remove this part. Okay, loan status. So let's print why you are getting only loan status value. So you have segregated your data into two parts. That means dependent variable and independent variable. That means X and Y. Now, based on that data set, you are taking some data for training purpose and it will take some data for testing purpose. That means you are going to split out your data with training and testing. So let's do it. X train, X test, Y train, Y test. It will be comma, it will not dot equal to train test it x comma y comma test site since there are only 480 rows are available that's why i'm taking test size equal to 0 0.1 that means i'm taking 10 percent data as a test data and remaining 90 percent data i'm taking for training purpose and random state equal to two I'm taking random, random state equal to two. You can take random state equal to three. You can take random state, any other numbers as well. Random state, basically, it is the way how how your data will be splitted. If you take different random state, your value, that means your accuracy score will be different with my accuracy score. Okay. Random state, basically, they reproduce your data as per the splitting process. So let it be run. Now let's print it. How many values under X train? How many values under X test? I want to check it. So I will use save here again. I will use save here again. I will use dot shape here again. I will use dot save. Let's run it. There are total 480 rows are there under those 480 rows 432 rows under x train and 48 rows under x test and subsequently y train and y test it will be split it okay so your data has been split into two parts one part has gone to training purpose and other part has gone to testing purpose now you will use the model that means SVM support vector machine will take the SVC that means support vector classifier and I am using kernel equal to linear. Let's run it. Okay, now I'm going to fit my model based on the training data set. That's why I'm using model.fit now I'll pass the training data. That means X train and Y train. And let's run it. It will take some time. In the meantime, let me put some rows here. It will take some time. Let's wait. It will take some time. Okay, it has been completed. So your model has been fitted with the train data set. That means X train and Y train. Now, what we'll do, we'll check our accuracy based on the training data set as well as based on the testing data set. That means we'll check that any type of overfitting or underfitting issue arises in our model or not. If the accuracy which you are getting based on the training data set and the accuracy which you are getting based on the testing data set if there is a deviation there is a big deviation between both those accuracy in that case there will be underfitted or overfitted issue but if there is a small deviation or exactly same i am not saying that almost same i am saying that exactly same in that case your predicted model is good there is no overfitted or underfitted issue okay so I will use that 
x train not x train i will take x train value and based on x train value i will predict the y train value and i know what is the actual value of y train that means y train so i am writing like that y train predict equal to model dot predict it will be predict i have missed p and i am taking x train that means based on x train i am predicting y train and i know what is the actual y value that means the y train value so let's run it now i am doing accuracy based on train i am taking matrix which i have imported from escalon dot accuracy score then i am putting the measured value that means y train value y train predict y train predict value now i am putting the actual value that means first i am i have given the measured value now i am going to give the actual value and let's run it okay i have put the double quotation here let's run it now i am going to print it what is the accuracy based on training i am getting accuracy based on training 77% 77.54% now i am doing the same thing that's why i am just copy and paste it here but now i will do based on test based on testing why test predict and here i will use test and let it be run again i am taking this and pasting it here and i will use test here and i am copy it and paste it here and i will use y test except of instead of y train now let's run it and let's print it what's the value what's the accuracy based on test so accuracy based on test is 79.16 percent accuracy based on training so let it be right accuracy based on training 77.54 percent 54 not 55 54 percent and accuracy i'm just copy and paste it here just i'll remove this training and i'll put testing 79.16 percent let it be bold okay so accuracy based on training is 77.54 percent and accuracy based on testing 79.16 percent so we are observing that both the accuracy if we check with respect of training and with respect of testing both the cases accuracy is almost same there is no such big deviation 77 and 79 there is no such big deviation that means we can say that our model is good our designed model is good there is no such overfitting or underfitting issue this was all about for today's lecture and let me just name it that bank loan prediction bank loan prediction and let's rename it bank loan prediction okay so this was all about for today's lesson thank you